There you go. Sniper. Head. Yeah. Hold Sniper. It. Wait, what? I don't know. The armed forces of Ukraine overcame a Russian minefield and entered the battle for the liberation of Tokmak, reports CBS News. A U.S. official told the publication that Ukrainian forces have overcome a Russian minefield north of Tokmak and are now fighting the first line of Russian defense holding the city. But as military experts predict, the liberation of cities such as Tokmak and the further advance to Melitopol will be a difficult task for the Ukrainian military. The Russian commander of the Vostok Battalion fighting in southern Ukraine said on Thursday that Ukraine will not be defeated and suggested that Russia freeze the war along current front lines. Alexander Khodakovsky made the candid concession yesterday on his Telegram channel after Russian forces, including his own troops, were devastatingly defeated by Ukrainian Marines earlier this week at Urozhyne in the Zaporizhia-Donetsk regional border area. Can we bring down Ukraine militarily? Now and in the near future, no, Khodakovsky, a former official of the so-called Donetsk People's Republic, said yesterday. When I talk to myself about our destiny in this war, I mean that we will not crawl forward like the Ukrainians, turning everything into destroyed Bakhmuts in our path. And I do not foresee the easy occupation of cities, he said. We can though enter a phase that is most unfavorable for Ukraine in its independent state, a phase of neither peace nor war. We could be in this phase if instead of the special military operation, the currently occupied territories were recognized and officially taken under guardianship. But it would require a completely different twist of history, Khodakovsky said. Khodakovsky also concluded on Telegram that the likely eventual outcome of the war is some form of truce. The well-regarded think tank, the Institute for the Study of War, assessed Khodakovsky's comments in the context of ongoing power struggles among Kremlin elites and the practical consequences of recent battlefield setbacks for the unit that he personally formed in 2014. ISW said in its daily campaign assessment that Khodakovsky was reintroducing a narrative that had been largely dormant since Wagner Group financier Yevgeny Prigozhin's armed rebellion. In April, Prigozhin stated that Russia should freeze the war in Ukraine to set conditions for a future victory without negotiations. This is an older video, but it's good. U.S. volunteer had a rocket bounce off his helmet. His new call sign will surely be Iron Dome. Yes, it did. I'm done. <laughs> That's a damn good head. Like that. That was a big ass in the head. Yeah. Sniper. Wait, what? I don't know. That was not. A, that was a fucking rocket. Yeah, it was a rocket, but. A oh, rocket bounced off my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Recording for that bit. A video appeared online that shows Russian SIG oil tanker after an attack by a drone. The tanker has a large hole. The voice behind the camera confirms that this is the result of a drone attack. <laughs> The head of the Ukrainian security service, Vasil Malyuk, told how in October 2022, Ukrainians blew up the Crimean bridge for the first time. In order to inconspicuously transport 21 tons of hexan to the bridge, the SBU employees wrapped the explosives with packing film. SBU employees specially selected such a thickness of the film that the scanners at the checkpoints would not notice the explosives. In addition, the security service of Ukraine bypassed special Russian jammers on the Crimean bridge that confused GPS coordinates. Scottish volunteer in the ranks of the armed forces of Ukraine fights in a tactical kilt. A Scot with the call sign Braveheart, a reference to the Mel Gibson film Braveheart, serves in the 59th Separate Motorized Infantry Brigade. Tactical kilt provides comfort in hot weather and has a number of pockets, a belt for pouch and attachments for additional equipment. Real Scottish Braveheart. Yes, or no.
Lower, combat killed. Combat killed. Show us please your weapon. What what do you take? I take the grow. Nice. M4. Let's grow up. Yeah. Let's take bag of grenades. Grenades. How many grenades do you have here? Uh, this time four, but last time I took nine. Yeah. To travel light. Да, едут на боевые выезды, прошу нас. The Swiss authorities have announced Switzerland will no longer accept passports issued in the Russian-occupied territories of Ukraine and Georgia. The documents will not be recognized as valid to cross the Schengen borders and will also not be accepted for obtaining a visa, Swiss Info reports. The restrictions will affect persons who have civilian or diplomatic passports, residence permits for stateless persons, certificates of return, and seafarers' identity cards. Humanitarian visas, Visas issued for reasons of national interest or visas due to international obligations remain available for people from the occupied territories. Footage of Putin visiting the headquarters of the Special Operation Group in Rostov-on-Don. The Supreme Commander-in-Chief was met by the head of the General Staff of the Russian Armed Forces, Valery Gerasimov. By the way, this is the same place from where Gerasimov ran in panic after Prigozhin mutiny. <coughs> Товарищи офицеры, товарищ Верховный Главнокомандующий, офицеры указанной категории на служебное совещание собрано. Начальник Главного оперативного управления генерал Попольный Курсмой. Считаю желание. Товарищи офицеры. Ukraine can liberate all its territories militarily, but it will be a long, hard war with heavy losses. General Mark Milley, in an interview with the Washington Post, he noted that the occupiers suffered huge losses, have problems with morale, command at the strategic level, and logistics. Russia is now on the defensive, and Ukraine is advancing. In Milley's words, it's a very, very tough fight. You can achieve these deoccupation goals by military means, it will take a very long time, but you can also achieve these goals, perhaps through some kind of diplomatic means, he added. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.